What's going on boys? Please ignore the Lego mess in the background. That's for my channel Daily Bricks, which by the way, we're closing in on 20k subs over there if you want to go sub. Um, but <laughs> either way, uh, we're going to be opening up this Topps uh, TV Animation Edition Squirtle Tin here. Um, very old Pokemon product. 20 bucks. I would have loved to pay 20 bucks for this. Um, this was about a $200 tin. Contains seven packs, seven cards, plus one foil card per pack, and a mega bonus size chrome card, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I bought this because I have, by the way, 1999, I believe is when this released, which is pretty cool. Um, I've never opened these tops cards before. I've never opened a tops pack. I've owned a few tops cards in the past, uh, but never had uh, a pack to open. So I'm pretty excited about this. Let's crack this thing. It looks like there's a little bit of Boom. Okay. Oh, geez. <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, so it looks like here are the packs. All smacked into that foam. All right. There we go. Beautiful. And then it looks like our mega card is going to be Squirtle. I wonder if there are... Oh, there are different ones. Two of five. Squirtle's pretty cool to get. I'm guessing probably... There's the starters, and then Pikachu, and then there must be one other. So I'm guessing the Squirtle is at least more expensive than the Bulbasaur, maybe? I don't know. Either way, that is pretty cool. We'll leave that in the tin for now. Um, and then we have these packs here. Um, pretty excited about this. I know there's different editions of these packs, and they have, like, different colored labels on the back or something like that. I don't know what this will be. Um, but, uh, I'm just excited to open these. Maybe pull a Charizard foil. That would be definitely, um, pretty pog. I don't think there's any super crazy pulls you can get out of here except for the Charizard maybe. Uh, but that, that would definitely be our biggest grab. Um, either way, I know, oh, Blastoise right off the rip. That must be pretty good. And there's no sticking. Awesome. Okay. So I know a major problem with these uh, packs is that they stick, the cards stick to each other and then they rip off. So it's really nice to not have sticking. That's really gorgeous. Okay. Then we have a Butterfree, a Nidoran, a Nidoran, uh, another Nidoran. I almost said Nidorino. Um, and then, oh, okay. Whoop. Primeape, Gloom, and then a Weeping Bell is going to be our foil card right there. Pretty cool. Might get some of these foils graded. I'm not totally sure. Um, but looks pretty cool. Wow. These are such different cards than uh, what I'm used to, you know? <laughs> it's, it's really weird opening these Topps Pokemon cards. Really, really bizarre. But that, that's pretty cool, I have to say. I'm really digging this. Um, <laughs> 199. I wish. I wish, man. All right. Let's get into the next pack here. See what we got, baby. All right. Charizard, definitely the number one chase card for us here. I want to open from this side. That way we don't know what the foil is. All right. So we've got a Machoke. Whoa, 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 whoa. A Geodude. And then we have a TV11 Meowth. So I believe these TV cards are just like straight from the show. And then they, they like form a puzzle actually that you could build uh, if you collect enough of them. Uh, there's James, which is pretty swell. Ah, oh, Bulbasaur, very nice. All right. And then they're upside down. We got a Raticate. And then we have a Spearow, they're changing direction again. And then our foil is going to be a Diglett. A little Diglett dude. <laughs> I like Diglett. Aw oh, man. Memories of Diglett Cave. Catching that level 30 Doug trio and being very overpowered for some reason. I don't know why they made that. That was really bad game balancing. <laughs> All right, let's crack open the next one here and see what we got. All right, Graveler. Beautiful. I'd love to complete some evolution lines. I think that would be pretty cool. A Machop. Beautiful. Oh, oh, sorry. Went a couple extra. Gold Duck right there. And then there's that Wiggly Tough. All right. Ah, I keep, it's hard to pull just one off. Zubat. And then obviously Poliwag. All right. And then we've got ourselves a Poliwhirl. Okay. 
wonder if sometimes they stack them so you know. Oh, Arcanine! Wait, we have one more card, though. Oh, and a Venusaur Hollow, too. Wait, why did we get two Hollows? I'm wondering if that's an error pack. Wow, two really good Hollows, I feel like. Venusaur, obviously a starter Pokemon. And then Arcanine um, is a gorgeous card as well. So... That must be a, an error card. What's that Pokemon? That's Doug Trio, and that's Growlithe, I think? That's got to be an error, right? That's that's cool. Okay. I'll take a bonus foil. <laughs> Gladly. Give me some more of those. Yes, please. All right. Cool. Gladly take those. Beautiful. All right. Rip it into the next one here. Venusaur is definitely probably one of the, the higher higher tier cards that you can chase, so that's good. Probably the worst of the three starters, but that's okay. All right, Paris, Clefairy. Hey, Raichu, that's a cool one. All right, Beedrill, I love Beedrill. And then we got Brock and Staryu. And then a Charmeleon, very good. And then our foil is going to be a Jigglypuff, okay. Man, that last pack was a god pack. <laughs> that last pack was a god pack for sure. All right. Let's see. Well, obviously, we got our foil spoiled for us. That's my bad. Uh, we have a Rattata foil. Let's go from the back for this one. Why not? And then we got the Vile Plume. Actually, going from the back sucks. Oh, oh, Charizard. Okay. Yes, please. What the heck? Charizard, beautiful. And then this is, oh, all of the cards you can get. Okay. Oh my God, we got a Charizard. Victory, uh, Bell, a Pidgey, is that another Raichu? No, Pikachu, let's go, and Clefable. Okay, we got a Charizard. It is not the foil, but even the base is pretty good uh, to snag there. So that's, that's very, very good. Holy cow, all right, oh my God. Whew. This is a good tin. This is a very, very good tin. So now we do have the Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard here. Pretty crazy stuff. All right. Let's see what we got now. We got the Weeping Bell, the Doug Trio, the Diglett. We have you in foil. Nidoqueen. I love Nidoqueen. Mankey. Nidoqueen and Nido King were super OP in. Um, <laughs> Yellow, uh, red, and blue. Alakazam. Alakazam's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. A Golem. And our foil is going to be a Fero. These foils are really cool, by the way. I really dig them. All right, last pack. Last pack chance for the foil Charizard. Let's see if we can't get some last pack magic here. But I am not mad about what we've gotten so far either way. We've gotten some crazy good pulls, I feel like. So... That's awesome, and these cards are in good condition, which is hard to find. So we have a Nidorina, a Metapod. Uh oh, whoops, Caterpie. We got Jesse. We've got Gary O. And Ash Ketchum, that's not bad. I feel like those are probably pretty good character cards to get. And then we've got ourselves. A Kadabra, and our final card is going to be an Ivysaur foil. That's not too bad. Okay. Okay. That's Pikachu. It's Pikachu! Um, wow. Holy smokes. This was a great tin, by the way. Uh, this was a, a good freaking tin, man. Holy cow. Got a lot of great cards here. These two are probably my favorites. Um, and then, I mean, we got a lot of good ones. It would have been nice to get the Bulbasaur foil too, because then we'd have the full evolution line in foil. But I mean, two out of three ain't bad at all, especially getting the Venusaur is pretty nice. And we did pull a Charizard, um, though it's not the foil one, but I'm pretty sure this in a PSA 10 is still like 200 bucks or something like that. Um, and you know, definitely worth grading a few of these. 
pretty cool tin, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.